There's been an increase of nearly 90 positive COVID cases in the state prison in Concord, up from 28 one week ago. And according to the commissioner, it's because they're increasing testing, now able to convince more inmates to get tested. One quarantined group in particular responsible for the jump. We had upwards of 75 individuals in a unit in which we had quarantined, uh, engaged in a test. So we were able to find a lot of asymptomatic positive COVID uh, residents. She says there's been resistance to testing because a positive result in a quarantine group restarts the clock at 14 days. There's been education about its importance and that of wearing issued cloth masks, now expected when they leave their rooms. We have the same problem that society is experiencing. Some people choose not to wear the mask. Hanks says three inmates were briefly hospitalized, all returning, that no one has died of COVID and that health-wise people are doing well. Their physical movement inside restricted some time ago to where they are housed, moved to designated areas if they test positive or have been exposed, families sharing concerns. You had asked about clean clothes and shower. We're getting people access to shower. We have had families reach out to us to uh, identify someone uh, whom we want to engage and make sure if there's any hiccups, as there would be in any normal business, that we make quick adjustments. She says mental health appointments are still happening. Visitation, an ongoing challenge. The visiting room is closed and video visitation isn't yet available in quarantine or isolation and staffing, an ongoing issue. But more National Guard help is on the way. Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.